because he stopped at the coffee shop. Did you bring me cocoa? Well, actually, no. What? I can't believe you'd go there and not bring me back cocoa. Don't worry, Teresa. I didn't get cocoa without you. This guy here is the reason I'm late. Stephanie, you don't have a dog. Whose dog is that? I really have no clue. I was just driving to the barn this morning like I do every day, and I saw him alongside the road half buried in the snow. Well, I couldn't leave him there, and he seems to be doing a lot better now that he's been in my warm truck. Aw, poor guy. I wonder what his name is. Well, so far he doesn't answer to Buddy, Buster, Rufus, or Wolfie. Anyway, we'll find out when we find his real owners. But what about until then? We just can't call him the dog. I guess you're right, but remember, Teresa, usually when you name a pet, then you start getting attached. And he's not ours. Oh, for crying out loud, we need to call him something. Let me think. May I suggest Mingo Tango? Sid, where did that name come from? You don't like it. Fine. Biscuit Eater. Butter Boy? Why are you looking at me like I'm crazy? They're all great names. You don't want to name him something boring like Copper. Hey, I actually kind of like that. You people. Maybe someday you'll learn. Cool dog, though. Just keep in mind, Teresa, I was the one who came up with the name Barley for your horse. So my skills should not be doubted. She's got a point. Barley is a good name. But so is Copper. Oh, you're just so cute. Oh, I wonder if he's hungry. We can give him some of Molly's dog food. Uh, oh, I really just want that candy cane. Uh. Mm. Mommy, are we supposed to wait till the humans give us the candy canes to get them? Yes, dear, that is correct. Then what is Aunt Charonta doing? What Aunt Charonta is doing is called being very, very impatient. Ah. Oh, Hazel, didn't your mother ever teach you that it's impolite to stare? Them girls just hang them candy canes in front of our stables and tease us. And I happen to be able to reach mine. Mm. But I've decided not to touch them. I don't want to spoil it for the girls. They seem to enjoy feeding them to us. Oh, here they come now. Maybe they'll give us one. If they don't. <gasps> A new farm dog? So cute. Teresa, I hope she notices I need a candy cane. Ugh, she's on her phone. I think I should contact the animal shelter next to see if anyone's been looking for a lost dog. Already on it. I'm also going to make a social media post and I'll also put the word out on some of the community group pages. Where are them girls? I wonder what they're up to now. Well, what do we have here? Sarah, Stephanie found this little lost doggy on the way to the barn today. We're trying to find his home. Aw, poor little guy. I'll ask the neighboring barns if they've lost any dogs. Thank you. In the meantime, Leah and Emily will be here any minute with a load of hay. And we're going to need all hands on deck to get it stacked. Okay, we'll be there to help. Meh, hey. I'm sure you guys don't want my noodle arms out there. I'm sorry, Teresa. You're not going to get out of it. Your horse eats just as much hay as everybody else's. And on top of that, Sarah even momentarily forgot that you have two horses. Fine, fine. I know. I get the point. Just let me finish making this social media post. Oh, there they are now. But what are we going to do with Copper while we're working? <gasps> I could totally keep an eye on them, like puppy sit. 
Nice try, Teresa, but we can just close the barn doors and let them hang out in here. Well, it was worth a shot. Oh no, what do we do? He's crying. <laughs> I'm crying too. I didn't get a candy cane and it's all his fault if Teresa wasn't so distracted. I really shouldn't eat this but why well our girls like to put them in stockings and give them to us it would be dishonest for me to take one. Oh, okay then oh but honey that is such a sweet thought let's see will you tell us more about yourself maybe like where you came from well my name is Jimmy Chew but my mother calls me Chewy for short and darling how is it that you became lost it happens that this was my first time ever seeing the fluffy substance called snow. Anyway, I was so excited frolicking in it that I frolicked so far away from my human mother that I couldn't find her again. Oh, you poor dear. If this was your first time ever seeing snow, then you're a puppy. Yes, and I miss my human mother very much. Well, the girls here at Silver Star Stables are wonderful and will do everything they can to help you. Exactly. Maybe Teresa's glowing rectangle will serve more of a purpose than just a distraction for once. But she does take pictures of me. I love it when she takes pictures of me. Oh, yes, I love getting my picture taken. We know what your owner's a model. All you do is get your picture taken. Basically living my dream. <laughs> Are you sad again? I'll find a way to take pictures, whatever that is. Um, uh. That, that's very sweet. <sniffs> Mr. Squeaker, have some manners. Chewy is a friend. <sniffs> I do not trust him. <sniffs> oh my gosh, those are the cutest puppy eyes I've ever seen. Well, we told you he's a friend. All the same, I'll be watching you. This here barn is my territory to protect. Oh, I really need to find my mother. It's not fair. How are you so strong? Well, I guess after you do it so much, it just gets easy. Fascinating. Oh, by the way, you guys wouldn't have happened to have lost a dog. No, our hounds stick around the ranch real good. Oh, isn't it wonderful? All this hay. Sparks, what are you doing over there? How can you not admire this beautiful hay? I would, but I'm feeling a bit suspicious. I, I just don't know if I can turn my back to these sketchy snowmen. Sparks, as the Silver Star Stables detective, I can assure you, they are harmless. But don't you find it mildly suspicious how one day they were just there? Need I remind you that I am a detective? The kids must have built them when we weren't looking. <gasps> oh my gosh, did they just start unloading alfalfa? This is almost the last of it. Perfect, now we're fully stocked on hay. Good work, everyone. Well, Teresa and Stephanie are sure in a hurry to get out of here. We have to check on Copper. Oh, he looks so sad. Clippity clomp, clippity clomp, clippity clomp. Whoa, Chester. Hey, how's the wolf pup? Oh, right. He seems sad. I think he needs played with. <gasps> please, can I? Please, please, please. Uh, sure, I guess so. Just keep a really good eye on him. We don't want him getting lost again. Come with me, little wolf pup. It's time for adventures with Chester. Well, I guess this gives us time. We could go tack up our horses. 
Good idea. Oh, I can also set up one of the little jumps. Stay there, Chester. Stay. Stay. Oh, hi there. I'm Chewy. What a pleasure to make your acquaintance. I am Rudy the Rooster. I'm, I'm, I'm Sam the Squirrel. And may I inquire, have you made any other acquaintances at Silver Star Stables? Well, I've talked to some of the horses in the barn. The really pretty white horse with the pink blanket is so nice. Wait, look, Toronto? So are the human girls and Chester. But he seems to be giving Sid a hard time now. No, Chester, you get back here and stay put. Mm -mm. Me, 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 me. Look, I know I said we were going on an adventure with Chester, but I changed my mind. I want to play fetch with the wolf pup. Chester, don't be upset. Come back. No, no. Would you look at that? Chester's on the run again. Hmm. It is safe to assume it's going to take her a matter of some time to catch that hobby horse. With that being said, would you like to meet the others? Um, sure, okay. May I introduce Otis Buttons, Molly Chai, Spike, Floppy, Sabrina, and the Soprano Sisters. <clears throat> Ladies. Where's Mr. Squeaker? No. Oh no, it's Mr. Squeaker. Riff, riff. Easy, Chai. I'll take care of this. Mr. Squeaker, what's the attitude about? We do not know if he can be trusted. His story is phony. Excuse me, can I be of some assistance? Is there something happening that I am not in the loop on? I am the Silver Star Stables detective. He claims to be lost and looking for his human person. Oh my gosh, what a cute puppy. That's so sad. There is nothing phony about that. Unfortunately, it's not uncommon for a pet to be lost. Pay no attention to him. And don't worry, I'm sure your person will come looking for you. In the meantime, you're safe here with us. I didn't realize how much I miss jumping. It's been a really long time. I know, especially since we've done it together. I'm going to see if Toronto will give it a go. Mm, no, I'm all tired out just from watching you, Charlotte. Come on, more forward. Um, come on. Good girl. I'm so proud of you. Do it one more time and I'll get you a candy cane. Can cane. Well, this obviously isn't a very good jump. It fell down. Wait a second. Where's Sid and Copper? Um, I guess nowhere to be seen. <gasps> oh no. Chester, you naughty hobby horse, get back here. Sid, where's Copper? Uh, good question. What? We need to find him now. Here, Copper. Where are you, puppy? Here, boy. Copper, come out. Here, boy. Oh. Mm. Come out, come out wherever you are. Come on, Chester. This is no time for games. The wolf pup is lost. And it's kind of our fault. Charlotte, this is just terrible. Such a sweet little thing. Well, maybe we could be helpful. We could search the paddock and the stoles of the barn. Oh my gosh, Charlotte, you're so smart. Puppy! Copper, I mean, Chewy! Have you seen a puppy dog? Ugh, oh, never mind. Excuse me, have any of you seen Chewy at all? Oh, no, I don't believe so. <gasps> I hope you find him. Oh! Dear Stephanie, what if we can't ever find him again? Oh, Chewy, I do believe they're looking for you. You best go back to the girls right away. Oh, okay, well, it was good to meet you all. Ah, uh, there you are. Don't worry, Sid, he's over here. Ah, uh, thank goodness. 
Whew, Charlotte, it's okay. They found him. You know, Stephanie, he'll need somewhere safe to stay tonight. I can take him home to my house. Oh, that would be great. Then we won't have to worry. Mom, Dad, I'm home. By the way, I brought home a puppy. Oh, that's nice, sweetie. What? Wait, what? <coughs> sweetie, you know we don't have room for any more pets. Guys, chill. He's not my dog. Oh, no. He's not yours? How is that supposed to make us feel better? He's lost, and we're trying to find his owner. I brought him home so he'd be safe tonight. Oh, I see. Well, since that's the case. Um, but maybe first give him a bath? Yeah, that might be a good idea. Be still, buddy. We're going to get you all cleaned up. Almost there, then you'll be all done. Ta-da! Squeaky clean. This is my room. Oh, and you have to meet the kittens. Okay, that's just too cute. Trunta, what's the matter? Oh, I guess I'm just thinking about that little puppy. I hope everything turns out all right for him. Ugh. What are they doing over in the other paddock? Cayenne, I'm telling you, one of them moved. Ugh. Sparks, if it was up to you, no one would ever sleep. It would all be up worrying our lives away. Yes. Shoot. Shoot. <laughs> this is so sketchy. Hey, good morning, Teresa. How are things with Copper? Oh, not so good. He won't eat this morning. I hope he's not sick. He seems really sad. Well, I don't know. Maybe he needs to go to the vet, or maybe somebody there would know who he belongs to. Grr, not the vet! No, oh, if only he had a collar. Chewie, you must tell us really what's the matter. Oh, I can't help but be sad. What if she never finds me? What if, what if I never see her again? Oh, I, I have to go find her. I have to. Buddy, uh, beauty slave. Wait, where is he going? He's run off. I think to find his owner by himself. But he shouldn't be out there on his own. What about the woods with the bears? Oh no, Stephanie, where's he going? Uh, where'd he go? Here, boy. Here, boy. What? I, I, where'd he go? Uh, I don't know where he ran to. He's gone. No, good grief. Somebody's got to do something. Did any of you guys over there see which way Chewy ran? Huh? Oh, no. We're too busy keeping an eye on these sketchy snowmen. They're, they're so still again. Do you think they're sleeping? Maybe, maybe they're resting up to attack. I told you guys. Mm, they're absolutely no help. Where's that Mr. Squeaker? <clears throat> yes. Oh, there you are. Would you know which way Chewie went? Of course. I said I was watching him. He ran down the path that leads to the dark forest. Oh no, and Stephanie and Teresa don't know that. I have to do something. Ah, uh, wh what are you going to do? 
Uh, jumping is really not my forte. Oh my goodness, Tronta, that is incredible. Good luck. Did you just see what happened? My Tronta baby can jump. But we just can't let her run off. Come on, we have to get horses and follow her. she wouldn't go far. Wait a second, what's this talk about bears? Well, wait for me. Excuse me, my name's Blair. I was out camping with my horses and I can't find my dog and I've been looking for him for days. <gasps> there she is. and I've been so worried about you. Ah, well, I can see he's definitely your dog. We're so glad you came by. I'm Stephanie, and this is my friend, Teresa. Stephanie found him along the road yesterday. We've been hanging out with him, but I think he definitely really missed you. Thank you guys so much for looking after him. I take my animals camping with me and he got a little excited about the snow. Anyway, we got separated and he does wear a collar with a tag, but it must have slipped off. I'm just so happy my boy's okay. I can't possibly be mad at you for running off. Would you like to come in the barn for hot cocoa? You can put your horses in one of the spare stalls. That sounds wonderful. So what's it like camping in the winter? Oh, I love it. We go camping in all seasons. Uh -huh. That would be a hard pass for me, personally. Well, it's not for everybody, and it's definitely not the same without my chewy boy. Uh, uh. Hi! Hi, I'm Hazel. I'm Mindy. Mm. <laughs> oh, soon he'll be leaving and I'll never see the little puppy again. Don't worry, Tronta. I think Blair and our girls are going to be great friends. And if I'm correct, we'll be seeing more of Blair, Chewy, Nolan, and Mindy. I hope you're right. Actually, I think you are. Tronta, I wanted to thank you for coming after me in the woods. I would have been a lot more scared if you weren't there. Oh, it's no problem. I'm really glad you're back with Blair. Stephanie, wasn't it crazy how Tronta just jumped out of the paddock? I'm kind of worried that she can do that. Yeah, but something tells me she probably won't do it again. And she did come back, and with Chewy. That's true. And that in itself deserves a candy cane. <laughs> <laughs> 